comes in. Uh, Trevor and Damien are available for today. Um, we can do... There's Marvin. Marvin, you can go sit there. Can we just... Uh, can we save uh, the Afrikaans for Marvin just toward the end, please? So, if you have questions, raise your hand and get going. Okay. Thank you, man. Uh, David, hi. Hello. Um, can you just tell us, before the match against the All Blacks, when was the last time you actually played a rugby match? And obviously, uh, there are pros and cons. I mean, presumably you feel quite rested. But then how hard is it um, to get back into that sort of full match sharpness after a long break? Um, I think the last game was on the 20th of May in the Japanese Top League if I'm correct. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> our training has been very intense um, in the six week block that we had before even the first match against Australia, which most of us didn't play um, uh, before we played All Blacks. But um, yeah, to play a match against, it's a different intensity. Um, we obviously train very intense, but I think with the contact involved and hitting rocks and scrambling and line outs, um, and always being on the move. I think of, you can only get match fitness from playing matches. So. And that was always the challenge. And I think um, in the first 20 minutes against All Blacks, it really stood out. Um, I felt we were quite strong starting the second half. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, I know we'll have a much better start this weekend and um, uh, we'll bring a lot more energy than what we did in those first uh, 20 minutes against All Blacks. Trevor, it's uh, been a while since you've been in the match trade three, I think since Argentina last year in Argentina. Uh, stoked to be back in the mix and fired up to get on the park this weekend. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since I've, uh, I've um, won the, the jersey again, but uh, yeah, very much stoked. Uh, it's uh, very excited. It's uh, it's going to be a t it's going to be a tough challenge and. Uh, in, in all fairness, uh, in in this in this in this environment and squad, there's there's so many there's so many great players, and the competition is really is really at a high level. So uh, you need to to bring it to bring your best every time. So when you're not in the in the match 23, you you just work as hard as you can, and uh, when eventually you get your chance, you 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 try and use uh, the opportunity. So uh, yeah, very much excited. Um, I know it's gonna be a very a very tough game. And uh, yeah, when you know uh, playing against Argentina is very physical, uh, scrum wise and line out, and uh, it's a game where you need to to man up. So I'm excited to to get a chance and to be able to represent the country again. Trevor, um, how do you how do you enjoy playing in France, and how does rugby really compare to or differ from what you experienced uh, back home playing Super Rugby? Yeah. Um, French rugby is definitely has evolved and has, has changed. Um, over, back in the day when I used to hear French rugby, it was just a slow and physical physical game that they, they played. But uh, in my experience uh, lately, it is actually just as quick, um, not 100, fully, eight, maybe 80%. As quick as as what Super Rugby used to be, but uh, the physicality is definitely is definitely second to none. So it is it is a very tough league to to play in. And my experience, that actually, the teams that hit you the hardest in the top 14 are the teams that are number 14 and 13. So you don't just go away and think it's just going to happen. That's where you take the biggest shot. So. It's a it's a tough league, but uh, I've I've learned to to embrace it. In the beginning, it was tough, but I'm starting to enjoy it very well now. Um, Trevor, it's it's interesting that you mention that because it's almost like uh, it's almost like you can prime yourself for a World Cup group as well. You know, um, like you just said, you know, it's the it's the middle, you know, middle of the log, you know, teams that are actually proved the toughest, and you know, it's pretty much the same in your World Cup group, you know, with the Tongans and those guys. Yeah, I think um, if, if you if you ask me, uh, going into a World Cup, I don't really think there's there's a weak team there. Everyone is there because they've qualified and they've they've been in the rankings and and teams like yeah Tonga people might think yeah maybe they in the lower ranks, but 
they it, it, it can be very brutal and I think we, most people have seen those who have managed to play against them it's it's, it's it's actually very it's actually very tough where when you come across obviously uh, top uh, top tier nations there's, there's a little bit more of uh, of, of uh, trying to put each other in a trap or l luring each other into doing certain things where those teams will just man up physically and uh, even if you do manage to beat them on the day it hurts after um, just a quick follow-up trevor um one of your memorable moments this season in france was a 40 meter break <laughs> uh, where you actually sidestepped the fullback as well if you if you were given a, a gap in the world cup would you run and try sidestep again uh, <laughs> uh, i think i will i will play what i see and uh, I think I think yeah, the, the Springboks, uh, the guys like Dukes, uh, the guys like uh, Chizzy, they will be there for the support. So as as quickly as, as the moment I break the line, I'll start looking left and right because I know I'll get caught. So I'll just try and look for guys like Damien and them who can and give them the ball and let them do what they're good at. Thank you, uh, Damien. You mentioned uh, how tough it is, you know, having to come in uh, sort of cold after not playing for quite a while and getting match fitness. Has it also been tough with sort of uh, the way the squad has changed match to match so far in giving guys game time and all that and playing with different guys around you each game? Has that also been a bit of a tough adjustment to get used to going into games? Uh, I don't, I, for me personally, no. I think um, a lot of us have been playing together for um, us as a group now with Coach Hark and Coach Rossi and Stalker and Felix that came in in 2019. We've been together for a good five, six years almost, roughly. Um, and a lot of the playing group has been quite similar. Obviously, there's been guys that have retired and unfortunately guys miss out along the way as well. But <clears throat> us as a playing group, we've, I know we do play a lot of games uh, at certain combinations, but even in training, we do tend to swap around and get a good feel for each other. And, and and I think that, that goes a long way in training, so when we get to a game, we're very comfortable and uh, we know what works best for the guy inside and outside. And sorry, just a follow up there, so I can, um, you know, playing with uh, Molly and Grant inside you this weekend, it's quite a new and exciting combination. You're looking forward to linking up with them? Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Obviously, playing rugby in Japan and watching the URC a lot, and watching how they play in the URC, it's, uh, it's obviously electric. and. They're both not just dynamic, but extremely fast players in the field, so um, and highly skillful. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I can't wait for the challenge. I can't wait to feel the game how, how the game will be with them taking control of things. So um, yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting, and um, I think they're also both looking forward to the challenge, and I'm sure they will will stick both hands up and and have outstanding performance. Sure, we, we asked the uh, JC last week as well. Um, we also didn't feature in one of the two previous tests this season. Uh, are you desperate to put in a strong performance on Saturday? Yeah, I personally um, think uh, everyone who gets the opportunity to, to wear the green and gold obviously wants to put up their hand and uh, and uh, do what's best and have a, a great performance. Because like, uh, like we said, um, the, the competition is high in the team, which is very healthy. And uh, like I think uh, Marvin mentioned it, um, it's, it's not just uh, about me and uh, me having a great performance, but uh, fulfilling a role in the team and make sure that the, the, the machine that we're working with is well oiled and functioning in, in, in the right way. So yes, obviously as a, as a player, you would like to, to go into the field every day and, and put out a, a great performance. But uh, with that being said, is, uh, you need to find a place in the team where where you fit in, where you can contribute um, what you what what you're good at and what you can you can give an offer to the team to make the team uh, better. So yeah, excited for the opportunity and really wanna wanna go out there and express myself and enjoy myself. But yet I'm with uh, uh, 14 other guys on the field uh, who we're trying to achieve the same goal. And uh, at the end of the day, it's not just about Trevor; it's about uh, the whole team. So looking forward to the challenge. Not going to be easy, but um, it's these kind of games that you get excited about and want to go out there and express yourself. Um, Damien, the uh, 
Uh, can you just take us through the process that the management is putting you guys under? Because uh, we spoke to, to Jock and he said that he, he's, they are trying to get you guys as much on peak form for the World Cup as possible. So will you take us through the process? How How is the management <coughs> managing that process? And what are you guys actually doing to be sure that you are at peak performance and uh, peak form for that first game against Scotland with these warm-up games and the last Argentinian game now coming up in mind? Well, uh, training-wise, I think um, yeah, we put each other under a lot of pressure. I think I know we put each other under a lot of pressure. Um, I know us as the, the back line, we're quite lucky. Um, just to be running all day and you get to look across the field and see how the forwards are getting stuck into each other in the horse and scrum. So um, I know how they work. Um, I know how our, our backs work um, on getting our detail right and um, staying on tip-top shape. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, it's mostly uh, you can train for a year and not play rugby, but the only way you can get that match fitness is by playing consistently. And um, yeah, there will there will be guys missing out this weekend, like we know, and there will be guys missing out next weekend. But it's just to try and find the balance of getting everyone enough minutes so that when we do get started at the World Cup, that we can fire not just as individuals but as a whole squad. Damien, um, I think when a lot of Springbok fans think about the centre pairing, they think of you and Makanyu. But uh, I mean, you actually established yourself as an international player, and Jesse himself. You know, you two were actually almost also a very you know um, consistent pairing. You know, in terms of playing games together initially and stuff. So, how lucky do you feel to have almost like two partners in crime that you trust? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I've been incredibly lucky. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge, whether I play with Jesse or Luki, or if I had to play at 13 and Andre had to play at 12. Um, I think uh, the four of us, the way we put each other under pressure at training, the way we teach each other, the way we learn from each other, um, I think it goes a long way. Um, and I'm happy for Jesse, obviously he was unlucky not to be up for selection against Australia um, with that red card incident. but. Um, he's been doing very well at training, like Lucanio and like Andre have as well. So um, I know he's ready to go. I know I'm ready to go, and I know the other 30 guys are also ready to go. And, and we're all looking forward to the challenge on Saturday. Uh, Trevor, just quickly, what are you expecting from Argentina, the Argentinian pack on Saturday? Yeah, always physical, and you know they get, they get stuck in. Is there a change in the approach that you guys have worked with? Maybe seen against Australia. Yeah, um, I think when, like as you just said, when it comes to to Argentina, you know it's going to be hard on a bone on bone, and it's going to be it's going to be a, a tough challenge. But I think uh, they've 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 come a long way from from just being uh, Argentina that just wants to go physical, and and they've got they've got. Uh, Few moves that they have now in in the lineups that uh, keep you thinking and uh, the way they they scrummaging and we all we all we all know that they've always uh, it was always one aspect of the of the game that they actually really enjoy and they they can if you if you're not away or not ready they can put you under immense pressure and yeah so for for us for us as well we we definitely know that you you can they are no slouch they not just gonna go away. They're gonna keep coming the whole day. It doesn't matter how much you dominate them. They don't. They don't. They don't give up. They don't go away. Even if you dominate them in the in the first hit in the scrum, if you if you think you've got it, they'll come back at you and it will bite you. So, it's a it's a very physical pack, a very forward orientated. They enjoy doing the putting their head in the dark places where most people don't don't really like being. So that's the, I think that's the most difficult part of playing them because uh, certain when you play other teams you if you keep your imposing yourself physically sometimes they go away but a team like Argentina especially in in the in the pack they've got uh, some some real inspirational players some players who've played many caps the big dogs who knows the dark arts of the game so that's going to be the big challenge for us and uh, to make sure that we try and and apply as much pressure as possible whether it's scrum time or mauling or rocks and all those kind of things.
because? Just to 